this is the iPod Touch third generation. Uh, it's actually very similar to the second generation iPod Touch. Uh, to tell the difference, um, on the back you should see there that there's only two lines of writing. This is um, on all the third generations, whereas the second generation had three or four lines of writing. So uh, that's one easy way to tell the difference. To open the iPod Touch, we're going to use a safe open pry tool and run this between the metal chrome frame and the glass digitizer, as being shown here in the video. There are several clips on all sides of the iPod and all these clips need to be released. We want to start trying to pry it from the bottom as there is a ribbon cable being connected in the top left corner. Once we have popped out the clips at the bottom, we can continue to pop out the clips along the sides. Once the clips have been released, we can lift up the digitizer, but be careful as it is still held in place by the ribbon cable in the top left corner. The ribbon from the digitizer is connected to the iPod. This pop connector is shown here. To safely release the digitizer from the iPod, use a safe pry tool and gently pop the connector up as being shown here in the video. You will then be able to remove the digitizer. Once you have removed the digitizer from the iPod, you should be left with the two parts like this. On the left, the digitizer with the midsection, and on the right, the rest of the iPod. Next, we need to remove a small Phillips screw from the metal frame as being shown here in the video. Then using the safe pry tool, lift up the thin foil from the top of the LCD screen. Then continue to use the safe pry tool to lift up the LCD screen from the bottom being careful as it is still held in with a ribbon cable. Next, there are seven small Phillips screws that need to be removed from the metal frame. These are now being pointed out in the video. Once the screws have been removed, we need to release the pop connector ribbon for the LCD screen, as being shown here in the video. It is right above the dock port of the iPod. Next, using a safe pry tool, start to release the clips along the side of the iPod. Once these are released, you will be able to remove the metal frame. The LCD screen has now been removed from the iPod and can be replaced if required. 